with the uh, remastered shots of the Enterprise, it's a really cool looking Ooh, la, la. it. It's a really cool looking it. Looking at looking at the ship. Yeah, and the ship's shown a lot in this episode, which really makes it. It's, fun. it's amazing how we've gone from uh, little toy models that hang by strings to these big massive models that the Enterprise was. Yeah, big as this table. Then to 3D imaging of such high quality. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the progression in film, the ability to film. So what do you prefer? So let's take uh, Blade Runner. So Blade Runner is arguably, if you look Adam Savage and his his channel, when ILM was doing the original Blade Runner, they, they were shooting it with multiple camera passes of different models. And, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, so they built it within the film and then they, you see it. Do you prefer that visual to top of the line CGI? Yes. I prefer practical effects. It all depends. It all depends on, on, on the effect of what you're doing. Ships on today. They look good. The, the 3D imaging imaged ships are far better than any practical model. I don't know about that. Uh, I think with a practical when model, you can add a depth of realism when, that CGI when they're, doesn't when capture. They're, when they're done right, I don't think you can. I think so. When they're done right, I don't think they can. When you look at some of these uh, films where they're pulling back and they keep pulling back, pulling back, pulling back into space and all that stuff, that's all 3D. Mm -hmm. I know. That's all. So the practical models can only get you so far. Now, you can intermingle them. And I guess that's what you're trying to say, the intermingling of 3D. Yeah, the hybrid approach, but, I think, is best. But I don't think practical... Okay, let's agree that the hybrid approach uh, probably is the best. But straight practical models versus 3D, 3D is better. See, I, I like, I like um, CGI. I like computer stuff for things that I don't have a preconceived notion of how they look. So if, you, if I think about the Balrog in Lord of the Rings... Like to do that as a puppet or or st stop motion animation as a model like that it, it it wouldn't have it wouldn't have worked mm -hmm. and I was perfectly fine with it. I felt the weight of the of the Balrog when it landed and things like yeah. that like yeah. that CGI. I think Iron Man when he is when that's that CGI. I like that. But anytime you've got human skin and human face, yes. I still think it's horrible. They're getting better. It's not as good because the skin texture never looks right. Okay, so the most the mo yes. So here's what I'll tell you. The what, what's the, if if I said what's the most recent CGI, um, um, what do they call it? Deep Rendering. deep fake that or they've deep tried fake. to do is in the Mandalorian with Luke. Luke Skywalker. Yeah. And, and, and I I I love what they've done with that, but it's bad. It, it, it's bad. They still have not, even in Rogue One and things like that, where you you, you got Carrie Fisher's face and they're doing it. Prince, it's just like Princess Leia and Grand. Yeah, they're just talking. like it's hope. I mean, it doesn't even look like it sinks well. So it's like I don't want that. But but for big care big characters that I don't know anything about ships, I'm on the fence with. I think if I think it a lot of it has to do with how well it's photographed. Yeah, I think. Like, the remastered Enterprise looks really good. And I've even noticed as we've gone back into these episodes, it looks better in some episodes than in others, like they were kind of figuring it out. Right. In this episode, in Corbin My Maneuver, it looks really solid, but... It looks like really solid CGI. CGI. Whereas in other episodes, they get it looking physical it, it's it's has more presence for lack of a better way to put it and i'm gonna go i'm gonna be i'm gonna get blasphemous here so jj abrams when he's doing his ships in the St star trek movies that he redid yeah they have a physical the, presence but he does he does something with the lighting it, not his lens flare but i mean he makes the the starlight kind of really harsh and then there's a camera shake in there and then he cuts almost all the audio out so like you get this sort of I I get the stark feeling of space yeah, and being that's outside what he's the doing. ship absolutely and it makes it more it makes it more real yes he creates the realism through the atmosphere right what he does with the sound and what he does with the lighting absolutely yeah 